Hey students, this is episode 12 of Hey Students. It's been a good week. I love how it's not so hot. I'm so tired of summer. I'm glad it's starting to cool off a little bit. Fall is my favorite season of the whole world, of all the world, all the seasons. It's my favorite, just because I like, I like it when it's kind of chilly and you have to bundle up a little bit. <laughs> Love it. Or like curling up next to a window with a little thing of hot chocolate and a book or an audiobook. Today we're going to do some cool stuff. We're going to talk about how I moved several times in eighth grade and had to go to like three new schools. I'm going to do another practicing tip using a metronome and some other stuff. Let's get going. Okay, so let's say that there's this piece I want to play that has some 16th note runs and I want to play it up to this tempo, 80 beats per minute. So it'd be tika taka 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 taka. So here's how, so let's say I'm practicing and I get to this spot. And it's just, it's just too hard for me, it's too hard. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna slow it down. So it's at 80, I'm gonna slow it down to maybe, let's go 40. Okay, and sometimes what I like to do is I like to set the beat so that there's kind of a subdivision in there. So I have these, the I have the subdivision set to sixteenth notes. Okay, so I'm gonna try it at that at that speed. It was a little bit better. <laughs> Still not where I would like it to be though. a lot better. Let's do it again. Okay, I'm getting close. So now I'm going to speed it up. It's at 40. Now I'm going to take it up to like 46. So it's just a little bit faster, but not that much. Okay, so I've played it. I played it three times. Maybe I play it five or 10 times. Okay, now I'm gonna speed it up to like 56. Okay, I'm getting closer, getting closer. Speed it up now to like 66. So at this point, I'm starting to feel, I'm starting to feel a little burn here, meaning it's like I'm starting to feel like I can't keep up. So I'm approaching, I'm approaching the line where it's getting a little bit uh, too hard for me. And that line is moving because I'm practicing it. So that line is growing. I'm growing because I'm, I'm getting better at this. But um, yeah, so the 66 might be a little bit too fast. So I'm going to bring it back down maybe to 60 now. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So I'm gonna play this enough times that it feels easy. And as you're doing this, this also can help you memorize it. I'm getting pretty close. It's still a little messy. Still a little messy. It's not performance ready, but I can, I can sort of play it. <laughs> and that's only after, let's see, my phone says it's been seven minutes I've been practicing this little section. So um, what I would do is tomorrow, when I practice this again, I would slow it down. Right now it's at 80, I would slow it down maybe to 60 and start there and speed it up and do the same process and maybe get it up to 90. Cause it's nice, it, when you're doing hard, quick stuff like this, it's nice to speed it up faster than where you wanna perform it. So that when you play it at the right tempo, it feels like you're stepping back and that you're relaxing into that tempo rather than like, like frantically trying to get it up to that tempo. So anyway, that's one way you can use a metronome. It does take time, but the time is well spent. And afterward, you feel so good. Like I feel good that I've improved on this one little measure and a half because um, I, feel, I feel better. I, it, I don't know, when you practice and you get better and you notice that you get better, it feels really good. So um, anyway, that's your practicing tip from Mr. Boat. So, uh, Teachers are here on a Friday working. What is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> um, the teachers are here on a Friday um, working, doing grades and stuff. So I'm gonna take just a little walk around the school. I wanted to 
talk a little bit about something with, with you all. <laughs> that balloon is so distracting. So I'm gonna talk about a little bit about my uh, middle school experience. I was homeschooled actually from the beginning of school all the way until sixth grade. And in sixth grade was when middle school started for me. This was in Washington state in the Seattle area. Now I, I was a pretty, I was a pretty weird kid and I still am. Anyway, so I started in sixth grade. We moved at the end of seventh grade. So in eighth grade, this was in junior high, we moved to a new school and it was a junior high. So there were seventh graders, eighth graders and ninth graders. So I was already a new kid. It was a bummer. <laughs> Moving schools is not fun. If any of you are new or if any of you have ever moved, um, you know that it's hard because you leave all your friends and you leave the teachers that you like and the school that you understand all the rules and where the cafeteria is and like you, you you've learned how how to function in the school and then you go to a new one and you're just a weird kid like you don't have any friends you don't know where stuff is everything's different and it's really hard so that happened in, in eighth grade then we moved in the middle of eighth grade again this is when we moved to utah um and like I've said before, it was really hard for me. So not only was I moving schools, but I was also moving states. And Utah is very different. That was hard because now, now I moved to a different state and I didn't know where anything was. And the culture is very different in Utah. And the climate and the weather was different. And of course I was at a new school and it was just scary. Um, then we, were, we, lived, we went to that school for like two months. And then we moved again. This is still in eighth grade. So this is my third new school in one year. And by this time, it was just, it's hard. I have told the story a few times. I used to, the hardest time for me wasn't in class because when you're in class, you just sit in your assigned seat and just do whatever the teacher tells you to do and whatever, like you don't have to talk really, you can just be quiet and whatever. For me, the hardest time was lunch because at lunch, you have to figure out where to sit and who you're gonna sit by and yeah, that's a hard time. Um, so I, at the school I went to, we were allowed to eat lunch and then you could go to the library and do whatever, work on homework or, or read, or they had computers that I would, I would paint using Microsoft Paint. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I used to just sit somewhere just kind of by myself and I would just eat really fast. And then, and then I would go to the library and just pretend that I was doing homework, but on the inside, I was just sad because <laughs> I didn't have friends. And then at every school, what I'd eventually do is I'd make a couple friends that weren't really that great of friends, but they were just people that I would sit by at lunch or that I'd kind of talk to before school started. It's just, it's hard making friends. I get that, it's very hard. In eighth grade, I kind of ended it just being a nobody and like I didn't really have, I had a couple people that weren't really friends. <laughs> I just sat next to them at lunch and I'd never say anything, but they were friendly enough to me. Eighth grade ended, summer happened, and I made a few friends between eighth and ninth grade that weren't great. Um, they weren't really good people at all, at least not at the time, maybe now they're cool. But <clears throat> at the time they were, they were kind of a bad influence on me. But I remember ninth grade happened and there was this kid that moved in across the street from us. He was also new, but he was, he was funny. We weren't really that good of friends, but we had met each other and whatever, talked a few times. He started making friends with these other people. And I remember th being a little jealous. Like I was like, man, it looks fun to go hang out with him. But I, I didn't feel like I could because the, my, Friends that weren't really good dudes, they weren't very nice and they'd make fun of them and stuff. So I felt like, oh, I can't go. And I remember this very clearly. One lunch, I sat down next to my buddies, these kind of lame people. I sat down next to them and I, like my hamburger that I had gotten, I put tons of pickles on it because I used to love putting tons of pickles on. And they started making fun of me for all the pickles I put on my hamburger. <laughs> And I don't know why, but it just irritated me. And I just, in that moment I decided like, I'm done with these people. And I literally slammed my, um, my tray down. I, I said, you know what guys, I'm done with you. And I picked up my food and I left and I went to go sit down next to this other friend and, and his new friends he had made. And that moment for me changed everything because 
this new friend and, and his new friends all became my buddies and they became really, really good friends of mine. And it changed me. It, it, I realized that like I could be who I want to be and I don't have to be these stupid people or hang out with these stupid people. I could be a good person and I could like band and music and theater and I didn't need these other guys. Um, and it, it changed my life making that decision. I'm really glad I did. So anyway, I, I guess the point of this little part was to talk about how moving to a new school is difficult and if you're going through that, I understand what it's like. And there are a lot of people who do. Um, you, you can make friends. It's hard, but you can do it. And if you're someone who hasn't moved and you meet someone who has, be nice to them. Invite them to sit next to you or just be their friend. Just just reach out and be nice to people who are new or who, who look like they don't have a lot of friends because they, they want friends, everyone does. It's not an easy skill to learn how to make friends. And there's no magic way of doing it. Just be nice, be nice to people. And uh, especially if, if you feel comfortable and you have a lot of friends already, reach out to people who need it. And, and it could end up changing their life forever in a good way. Um, you have a lot of power to help each other. So go for it, be nice, be cool, assume the good in people, doubt the bad, good luck. Okay guys, so I love the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as I'm sure a lot of you do. I know not all of you like them, but um, some of these movies are awesome. So I'm gonna go into this website and rank my ranking for the MCU movies. So let's jump in. So we have favorite, awesome, good, meh, and not great. So um, we're gonna start, I'm, I'm doing this hopefully mostly in order of release date. So we're gonna start with Iron Man, the movie that started it all. So we're gonna put this in, awesome. <laughs> I love this movie, I think it's really cool. Um, the Incredible Hulk, oh, I never saw this one. I still need to see that one. I haven't heard great things about it, but maybe I like it a lot, I don't know. I never saw it. So I'm gonna skip that one because it wouldn't be fair to put it somewhere. Um, Iron Man 2, um, I'm gonna put this one as meh, because I remember not loving it. it, it was okay. I liked it, but it, it was kind of meh. Um, Thor, I'm also gonna put this one as meh. I remember being in the theater and I was just like, what am I watching? I didn't really like it that much. Thor grew on me a lot more as a character later. Captain America, the first Avenger, I remember liking this one when I saw it in the theater, it was good. The next one, Avengers, the first Avengers movie. I'm gonna put it as awesome. This one is really fun to watch. Watching them all come together was really cool. <laughs> Iron Man 3, I'm gonna put this one as good. I, I remember liking it in the theater. I don't remember a lot about it, but I do remember coming out of it being like, yeah, that was good. I liked it more than Iron Man 2. Thor The Dark World, I'm gonna put this one as not great. <laughs> this is the one I like the least. I don't think that's a very uncommon opinion. Um, yeah, it was just kind of, yeah. But Captain America, the Winter Soldier. This one is one of my favorites. I think this one is so cool. I love how the tone is kind of like this spy thriller. Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm gonna put as awesome. I loved this movie, I thought it was really fun. Bunch of fun characters. Avengers, Age of Ultron. I'm gonna put this one as good. It was fine, it was, it was, it was good, I liked it. Um, Ant-Man, I'm gonna put this one as good. I liked Ant-Man. Captain America Civil War. This one was awesome. It's one of my favorites. I love this movie. Uh, Doctor Strange. I'm going to put this one as good. Um, it was fine. I liked it. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I'm going to put this one as meh. I mean, I enjoyed going, but I just didn't like this one as much as a lot of the other ones. So whatever. It is what it is. Spider-Man Homecoming. Awesome. Love this movie. Thought it was fun. I love Spider-Man, he's one of my favorites. Thor Ragnarok, I'm also gonna put this as awesome. When I first saw it, I didn't really like it that much. I felt a little forced, but the more I've watched it, the more I've enjoyed it. Thor is, has really become a fun character. <laughs> Black Panther, this is one of my favorite, favorite movies, not just favorite MCU movies. It's just so good. Um, Avengers Infinity War, also one of my favorites. Love this movie. Um, it was such a fun experience going to the theater and leaving just being like, what just happened? Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp, um, I'm gonna put this one as, as, this one was good, it was fine. 
I'm kind of between man and good on this one. It was it was good. I enjoyed it. It's good. Captain Marvel. Um, I'm also gonna put this one as good. I liked it. It was fun. Um, Endgame. Awesome. I like Infinity War a little bit more than Endgame for some reason. I don't know why. There were just more moments where I was like, yeah. Um, it was really good. Spider-Man Far From Home. I'm going to put as good. It was good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, huge cliffhanger at the end. Don't want to spoil it. But yeah, there we go. There's my ranking of the MCU movies. I really loved Avengers, Infinity War, the Black Panther, Captain America Civil War, and Winter Soldier. They uh, Those movies were just so good. I just love them. Um, in fact, I think I want to go watch them right now. I'm out. Hey, that's it. Oh. <laughs> that's it. That's uh, that's episode twelve of Hey Students. I hope you. <laughs> I hope you. Guys, I hope you guys have had had a good week. Have a good weekend. And uh, excited for another another <laughs> another week of school. So um, yeah, we'll catch you all the flippity flip. Get, get off, get off, get out!